Country Shooter 98. Today we're going to take a look at a product from Springer Precision. It is their base pads for the 509 series. Um, if you've seen the last video I did, I actually talked about the oversized magwells I got from them. So today I want to take, talk about uh, the base pads. Now you can get different sizes. Um, I believe this was the 100 and 40 one, um, and it, these are normally 17 round mags, and I'm wanting to say, um, with their oversized uh, spring, I think it added three or four rounds, okay? Now, um, you can get these, this one, for $30, if you don't get their spring. I tried that, and it ran through the gun, but it will not light back on the last shot and you can't just put an empty mag in and lock the mag back and it'll do it. And I just don't like that. I like for it to lock back on the last shot. So I went ahead and ordered um, Springer Precisions. They, they have their own. So you can buy these or the grams. Um, if you get these with the base pads, it'll be $37. You might as well do it. I think um, you'd be happier with these, honestly. Super easy to install. Um, you see this is the standard one in a 509 compared to these. You can see the difference there. Um, it's real easy just to pop off your base pad off a of 509. You just push the little tab and slide it off and there's a little piece inside that will come right off that you will not no longer need. Your spring will sit flush against this base pad. Sorry, for this way. And um, now on the 509 mags, uh, the magazines. It was kind of opposite of my XDMs when I did this. Um, there was no modification to put the magwell on it. To put um, these base pads on my mags, okay, I had to come in with a file and file down the corners just a little bit right here because there's a set screw. So when you slide this one in, you want to take your Allen wrench then and bring the set screw up and it actually helps lock this in place. It's no big deal. It took me just a few minutes just to file that down just a little bit. You don't want to get crazy with it. And then that way, what it is is when you slide this in, you can't see the whole uh, nut down there to bring it out. So you just got to file it just enough where you can get the whole Allen wrench down in there and just bring it up a little bit. But uh, safety check these. That's what you're gonna have, the finished product. That is the old 17 round mag now, which is gonna be a 20 or 21 round mag, I believe 21 with their spring. I mean, that's just too cool. And then, uh, on my 509 Tactical, same thing. I mean, they're just a little bit shorter than the 24 round mag you get with the 509 Tactical stock. So, really happy with that. Um, wasn't no big deal install them. I got them for all my mags. Uh, like I said in the previous video, if you put the oversized mag well, you're going to have to get choose one of their base pads to make it fit in there and function properly. So just be prepared if you do the mag wells to get these as well. Um, if you're going as far as you get the mag wells, you might as well do this. So really cool stuff from Springer Precision. They offer these in some different colors. I believe it's uh, the same as the mag wells, black, blue, red, and uh, raw metal. Um, I've ran it through a few times. Dry fire snap caps ran fine. Live ammunition, fine. Uh, all, all worked great with the magwells and with the base pads. Good stuff from Spring Precision. Check them out. Um, thank you all of y'all been watching and subscribed. And if you haven't, please do. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, feel free to ask. And uh, I'll be right back in touch with you. And we'll see you next time.